Hello, welcome to my website physicsforstudents.com. My name is Shaunak and I make videos on physics and math. First of all, let me thank from the core of my heart to all the subscribers who have subscribed and liked to my YouTube channel. And that actually made me think that why don't I launch a website? Physics for Students this September completed one year of its journey. We started around last year, uh, around the beginning of September. And in this one year, I have received a lot of uh, subscribers, more than 1500 right now, and likes and subscribe and a lot of reactions and comments. These comments and reactions actually made me think that why don't I make a website. The reason for making this website is that everything cannot be, uh, you know, in a YouTube channel or a video. You really need to read, reflect and study. So a website is the best solution. In this website, physicsforstudents.com, you will find there are certain sections. The first section is called the article section. You can contribute immensely to this article section. You can write any scientific, mathematical or any experience. It can be even related to your teaching. Uh, obviously, it should be related to science, mathematics, even computer science is fine. And I will publish it uh, in the article section. So if you go to the article section here, you will find that we already have certain articles which are being contributed with a person called George Kevin Poe. I have myself written an article. Sky Darmus, another independent researcher from Greece, they have been writing to me and I have been just checking it and publishing it on the article section. So the article section basically comprises of more or less mathematical and scientific articles. It can be your independent research, it can be uh, your own paper, it can be your journey, anything. You will see that I have also published an article on a lady called Tania. She is an astronomer, you know, she is a teacher in of astronomy from the Lozova Observatory at Ukraine. So I have made a complete kind of a article on her journey in becoming an astronomy teacher. The second part you will see is called videos. I don't want to explain much because the video section is all which is there in YouTube channel. So whatever is there in the channel, I am writing the same and publishing it in the video section. The third part is called Godel's World. Now, as you all know that Kurt Godel, the famous logico mathematician, uh, most important log logicians uh, of our century has immensely contributed to the foundation of mathematics, especially his incompleteness theorem. I've been studying uh, Kurt Gödel since my childhood and his life and his works are immensely intriguing and fascinating. So you might find only one story called Two Best Friends where I have written about Einstein and Gödel's friendship. You can also write anything which is related to Kurt Gödel. I have created a separate section for Kurt Gödel because it is very important to know Gödel's incompleteness theorem, how it shaped the entire uh, foundation of mathematics, uh, the logic, uh, the logic uh, and mathematics, Bertrand Russell's um, you know Principia Mathematica, how it uh, was being uh, you know uh, dealt with Kurt Gödel. Uh, Kurt Gödel, Wittgenstein and the entire genre of this philosophy of mathematics during that time. So if you have any idea, if you want to write about Kurt Gödel, please do. I have a separate section for that. Coming to another part which is called the featuring section. This is more or less the same as the article section. In the featuring section, I try to put up some good new uh, articles, new news which are coming up. For example, an uh, article you will find called Hungarian Rhapsody where I have written about the recent Abel Prize winner. Anything which is related to new uh, foundations or new discoveries related to mathematics and physics, I have done that. I have also published a new article of uh, Deep Bhattacharji on homotopy group of spheres. Very intriguing, very fascinating and wonderfully uh, created by Deep. I have published that. So it is more or less the same as the article section. Yeah, we can put something special into that featuring section. Coming below, you will find there is a section called Management Lessons from Bhagavad Gita. This is extremely important because Management Lessons, uh, my father uh, has been teaching in IIM. I have been lecturing with some, uh, you know, uh, classes with Ramakrishna Mission Institute of Culture because my background goes back to those old days of the order. So leadership and management has been extremely important and leadership and management requires new methods of study, right? So, uh, as because I have been trained in Sanskrit shlokas, so I reinterpret the shlokas in terms of management. Like, I mean to say management lessons, leadership problems, dealing with your boss. 
uh, stress management, managing time and everything. So here I have reinterpreted the entire, I won't say entire, certain important shlokas of Bhagavad Gita and how it is related to management. So all the Anthony Robbins and the new people who are the management gurus, many years back our rishis and the saints and the sages have done that. This is there in the management lessons from Bhagavad Gita. It is just contained one article called a Management Dilemma. But I will come up because I am overloaded with work. I will come up with more uh, such in interesting uh, topics on this management lesson. So those who are into management can really look into it and can have an entire new perspective of teaching management. Coming to the last section which is called the Students Corner, it primarily deals with students. So I have made one section, uh, a, a kind of a lesson on differential equations, two lessons on set theory, another lesson on topology. So you can also contribute. If you are really good in mathematics, it can be trigonometry, it can be high school level mathematics, anything. Please do let me know. Please write to me at editor at physicsforstudents.com. I will publish the article. It has to be student oriented. So just keep it in mind that we have to write some something which is which people can or the students can cognize people can, students can understand with a better and a detailed explanation etc so the students corner is basically an e corner where i try to put in articles and uh, you know lessons which the students will be beneficial go to the uh, about us section you will find a little bit about uh, the uh, entire journey of physics for students what is our motto i have put it as veritas nun quam parit which means truth never perishes and that is the entire idea of science and mathematics so that we can bring up the truth. You can go to the contact, uh, contact us section and to the team section and you can find lot of people are joining with me. I've just got few people with me but there are more who are willing to come. So they have contributed by writing articles, correcting my papers, mentoring me, motivating me to do more. So that's it. This is a small video on about on the you can uh, immensely contribute well if you ask me that in return what you can give I cannot give you money okay but yes it is our job as a human being as a teacher that can we contribute to the society the more we contribute it is better the less we contribute our knowledge doesn't spread and we remain confined to that so I think that that's all from this part Thank you for watching this video and you can contribute and do write to me if you want to contribute something to the website. It can be equations, it can be your journey, it can be new method of teaching, it can be an article. And I have a section called podcast also where I am inviting people where you can write podcasts, uh, where you can uh, send your podcast on any particular idea. Currently I am creating a podcast on Grigory Perelman. I am open to any idea, send me your voice, we ca I can do that. I am also inviting anybody who is willing to make your voice uh, listen to the world on Tegor Einstein conversation. My next, uh, my next, uh, I would say, uh, my next project. Uh, I have already written an article on Tegor Einstein conversation, elucidating on the analysis part of philosophy. But I really want to make a podcast on that. That's all. Thank you for watching this video and uh, your motivation, your comments and your feedback have really helped me to launch that. Also, I try to make, I am making this website absolutely ad free because it feels very irritating that you're reading through any website and the ads are popping up. So that is it. The entire uh, responsibility is on me, the entire, uh, uh, the entire trouble and the time and everything, the money what I have to spend is on me. You just uh, let me know what you want to do and I will do my best. Uh, you can contribute uh, whatever the way you are teaching, you are contributing to the society and I think contributing to the society now is important. Let others learn and let the light of mathematics and physics or rather I would say the light of science should spread among everyone. Thank you very much and have a nice day and stay safe.